a look at how to color a protein to show how far its carbon alpha atoms are from a similar protein that's been aligned to it. In this, uh, this is what we're going to get here, this kind of coloring. The blue is regions where the C alpha atoms are within one angstrom of each other between the two proteins I'm comparing, and red is five, ang or five angstroms or more away from each other, the corresponding C alpha. Okay, so let me show you the steps to do this. We're going to do this in Chimera X version 1.6. I'm going to close what I have here. Close this and we'll do it from the start. We're going to look at two um, actin proteins. Actually, one is crenactin. It's an archaeal version of actin. And its PDB ID is 4BQL. And there are four copies of it. I can see in the log over here, chain A, B, C, and D. So first thing, I just want one copy. So I'm going to delete chains B, C, and D. So I have one copy. Okay, so this is an archaeal version of actin called crenactin. And now let's compare it to a rabbit version of actin. So I'll open PDB 1J6Z. And they're not aligned with each other, so I'm going to first want to align them. I'll use the matchmaker command to do that. Say matchmaker number two. That's the rabbit actin to number one. And then I'm going to add option, say show true. That means show the sequence alignment between the two. Uh, so let's do that. So now they're aligned. And the sequence alignment appeared over here on the right. Um, these two proteins have quite different sequences, and so a uh, sequence alignment was made, and then the corresponding C alpha atoms, uh, the, the second model, the rabbit one, was rotated and translated to align the C alpha atoms as well as possible to minimize the root mean squared deviation between the C alpha positions. When it did that alignment, it um, showed this sequence over here on the right. And you can see a header, it says C alpha RMSD. Uh, it's root mean squared deviation. Since there are only two structures, that's actually the distance between the corresponding C alpha atoms. So where the bars are high here, that means the, um, the corresponding C alpha atoms at those residues are very close together. Um, when it made this, it, it assigned an attribute to each residue saying what this C alpha RMSD value is. And we're going to use that to color. So to do that, I'll go to Tools, uh, Structure Analysis, Render by Attribute. So that will bring up this new panel. And I'll say I want the attribute of residues. And the attribute is called Sequence RMSD. And then I have a histogram of the values here. And there are these color bars I can move. I'm going to move them to lower values. It says the range of values is 0.17 to 25 uh, angstroms. That's the distance of the C alphas. I probably want these color bars at particular positions. So I'm going to take this blue. I click on the blue one. And I'm going to say the value for that is 1 angstrom. I have to hit the Enter key after I type the 1 so that the bar moves. And then the white one, I'll put white at three angstrom separation, and the red one at five angstrom separation. And then there's some options down here to color the atoms, the cartoons. Um, it also says color missing values. So where the two sequences are different and they didn't, there was no correspondence between the residues, because perhaps there's an inserted region or a deleted region, this is the color it will use. Um, since I'm using white in the coloring, I think I'll change this gray by clicking on that to, say, a greenish color. And then let's I'll hit Apply, and it does the coloring. I could also make a color key. Um, there's this Create Corresponding Color Key button in, that I'll press. Uh, it brings up a panel. It made the color key, and it brought up this panel that... Uh, allows me to adjust the options, how big the color key is. I don't, I'm not going to change it at all. And I'm going to hide this render by attribute. Uh, I have both structures still shown here. And 
uh, it would make a cleaner picture if, say, we just look at the rabbit actin and it's colored according to how far the archaeal actin C alphas are away. So I'll hide model number one using this model panel, this check button under the little eye icon. Okay, so this is the uh, this is what we were going for. Um, I have some atoms shown here, some ions. I might want to hide those atoms for the display. Up here in the toolbar, I can say atoms hide. And there we go. That's that's what we the blue dark blue regions are the close C, the C alpha positions that match closely, the residues that match closely. Red are far away and green are ones where there was not a correspondence between the two sequence, sequences. Thanks for listening.